Hello guys and welcome to another Doctor Who book review and today I'm going to be doing a review on the 12th Doctor novelization, which is Plague, C Plague City uh, and is written by Jonathan Morris. Now before I start I just want to um, say that uh, I'm feeling quite tired tonight so if I do uh, stutter or make uh, incorrect, well, say things incorrectly, then I do apologise. It's just that uh, I've had a busy day at work today, and uh, but yeah, without all that waffling, let's crack on with the review. And by taking a look at the sort of overall packaging, uh, well, packaging, I should just say presentation of the book. Uh, there's not really any packaging in this book, to be honest. Um, so yes, uh, the cover is incredibly red and fiery. You've got, obviously, Bill Nardole and the Doctor. Um, and you've also got uh, the Night Doctor, which is sort of uh, the main villain um, in the book. It's not, it's not really a villain, but I don't want to get into it uh, that much because it's quite spoiler-filled. So like spoiler territory, uh, which I'm trying my best to avoid any spoilers. But um, so yes, yeah, so we got Doctor Who playing City, Jonathan Morris, and it says here fear is contagious. And we've got Doctor Who, Plague City, again, and the spines, you can't really pick it up on the camera. It looks quite black on the camera, but it's actually sort of uh, dark burgundy. And then at the top here, we've got a picture of the Twelfth Doctor, and we've got a quote which says, We should have, well, we should leave. We should definitely, we should definitely should leave. But chatty ghosts. So yes, uh, that's a quote from the book, and I'll just read you the blurb. The year is 1645, and Edinburgh is in the grip of the worst plague in its history. Nobody knows who will be the next to succumb. Nobody except the Night Doctor, a masked figure who stalks the streets, seeking out those who will not live to see another day. But death is not the end. The Doctor, Bill and Nardle discover that the living are being haunted by the recently departed, by ghosts that do not know who are, that they are dead. And there are other creatures lurking in the shadows, slithering, creep, creeping creatures filled with an insatiable hunger. The Doctor and his friends must face the terrifying secret of the Secret of Sorrows, that something which has lain dormant for 200 million years is due to destroy the entire city. So a slight dramatic reading there. Um, and here it says, an original novel featuring the 12th Doctor, Bill and Nardal, is played by Peter Capaldi. Pill Mackey and Matt Lucas, and you can pick this up for about seven pounds, well six ninety nine in the UK, and eleven dollars and ninety nine uh, in the US, and in Canada it's about fifteen ninety nine. So inside, I'll just show you the little uh, signature because I got this signed from uh, Forbidden Planet. They had loads on sale, and I picked some up. So yes, uh, now for my overall thoughts and opinions on um, Doctor Who Plague City. Uh, so yes, uh, we start, it's all about, uh, the main theme in this book is grief, and it's the way the imagery and the way Jonathan Morris writes about grief is, he does it incredibly well, and this is the first Jonathan Morris book I've read, uh, I understand he's a very well respected writer, um, his work is praised quite a bit, I mean he's probably got a couple of duff stories but that's the same with any writer. Uh, he's written books such as Festival of Death um, and Touched by an Angel, which I understand are very good books, and I would like to read those uh, someday. Um, and I was, yeah, it, it, it's basically delving into the theme of grief. And in the first, the very first scene of the book, you see a child dying, which is incredibly dark this this book is quite dark and um there's a lot of horror elements in there and we see the characters of isabel thomas and catherine and catherine's the the little girl who dies and uh it's quite it is very dark i think and there's this character the night doctor who comes in and basically what he does he takes the souls away and turns them into ghosts pretty much and then they come back and haunt the living and it goes on for quite a while in the book and I think one of the main problems I had with Plague City is that it did drag quite a bit 
and then when it got to the overall payoff i was i couldn't help feeling disappointed um because up to that point despite drag i was really enjoying it i thought this could actually be one of my favorite doctor who books i'm really interested to see how the whole thing gets resolved and it gets to a point where there's this whole there's a like, huge volcano underneath the city and it that explains why the the front cover is all sort of fiery and red and slightly orange um and it it did feel a bit messy and a bit out of place i should say um but the characters uh, uh which are featured the, the regulars uh the 12th doctor bill and Nardole, are brilliantly characterized that's probably the best thing uh, Jonathan Morris did with the book. The characterization was spot on, I think. Uh, Nardol does get sidelined as he usually does, um, so I guess that's a bonus. Like, well, not really a bonus, but just a good point of characterization because he just doesn't really do much in a lot of the Doctor Who stories we've seen him in. Um, and Bill, it's uh, one of the things I like this book more than Diamond Dogs was that Bill gets a lot more to do in this. Uh, she is mainly her story, and she does have a surprisingly a, a big amount to do. Like she becomes friends with um, uh, a woman called Betsy and her friend as well. So there's a little trio there going on. Um, and that that's quite, all. That's quite nice. Uh, you see, you get to you get to see their friendship, um, uh, like sort of evolve, and it's really quite. It's, it can be quite emotional, like towards the end of the book. Um, but the twelfth Doctor is characterised brilliantly, and he he does get sidelined because it's mainly focusing on Bill, I think. And that was, I think, was a brave move from Jonathan Morris because. Um, obviously the writers, they, I think they got a sneak peek of the pilot, uh, so they could work on some, work off, um, you know, the material that they had, uh, of that character, because uh, obviously they weren't allowed to watch the entire series, and I think they were just, um, allowed to watch that one episode so they could have something to work on, and I think they did a great job of the characterization. Um, I think just the overall conclusion of the book did let it down for me. Um, I don't know if I want to spoil it, but basically it involves the Doctor playing his guitar, and there's like leeches involved, which um, are sort of like hidden in people's stomachs and they don't realise it, and they sort of infest on the humans. And I, I don't want to get too much into it, because I don't want to ruin it for you. Um, and also I was a bit wary about reading this book because obviously I wasn't really that keen on Nardole to start off with um, but throughout the series I've actually enjoyed him even though his lines do, re do feel really forced and just feel like an afterthought but I think it was a decent book I would say it was you know anything special um, I would like to read a lot of Jonathan Morris's uh, other work and check out his um Big finish stuff, but uh, I don't know. It was just not that. I don't know. It, I just felt disappointed by the overall conclusion. Um, so I think for my overall rating of Plague City, I'm probably going to give it a six out of ten. Uh, I think just the uh, convoluted ending just just uh, ruined it for me. Um, but overall, it's a decent book, and I would recommend you check it out. And it's a historical and. It gets a bonus point for that because I do really like historicals and yeah, it's a it's a great it's got a great setting and yeah, it, the, just the great points of it. Uh, the bonus points are just the characterization of the characters and just some of the 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 other character side characters and I, like I said, the only thing that really lets it down is the overall conclusion and the fact that it drags quite a bit. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, thank you very much for watching my review. And obviously my, my next review will be of um, Attack of the Cybermen, the DVD, but I think my next book review will, will probably be of, um, well actually no, I'll leave it as a surprise because I don't want to uh, ruin it. Um, so yes, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you then.